DVP? I have no idea. I mean, uh, I don't want to. I, I hate making predictions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, we, you know, knowing how good uh, AG Bonkers played the other night, um, I, it could be anything with him. I mean, uh, yeah. We'll just have yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah. Oh, a little lag. There we go. <laughs> what? AG Bunker says it's 60 in his house. Well, turn on the heat, man. Come on. For real. It's Florida. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, are you high? Go home. <laughs> Florida's, like, hot right now. Actually, not today. It was, like, 60 degrees outside. It's freezing. Maybe not for you guys, but for me. Who's the client? I've never seen him play in a tournament. I have not seen the client. I, you know what? He might have played in Daywalker 4, but I just don't remember, you know, what's uh, what the deal is here. Got a lot of, lot of regulars tonight, too, though. All right, sir, take a pick one. I'll pick the, I'll take the other one. All right, spawning in the middle-ish right, we have the pink Zerg, the client. New to Daywalker. New, I guess. You can't... You can't tell them it's Force Cross or not, just don't. They have to figure no, out this. And then on the uh, left-hand side of the map of Metropolis, we have AG Bonkers, our champion from Monday night. So he did not defend his crown on Wednesday, so we'll, we'll just consider him the... What? The semi-defending champ from... Semi-defending semi -defending champ from Monday night. Yeah. The, the defending times he played. Right. If he was five-year-old... Did he play Wednesday? No, he did not. Five-year-old came on and played... Or maybe he did play yeah, on Wednesday he and he lost. Got out, no he got mind. knocked out, that's right, okay. So he did defend on Wednesday and lost. Five-year-old now is the, has the crown. Uh, he doesn't know if he's going to play tonight because he's in a Yogi Time uh, tournament. So uh, we'll see who has who takes the crown tonight. Indeed. The client, he's scouting around. He doesn't know if it's Force Cross or not, which we can't tell him. And it looks like he's going to go for that fast expand that most Zergs do. And then AG Bonker is going to go, he's going to go Nexus first, then into Forge. Yep, and the client went Hatchery, then Pool. And, uh, yeah, see, this this is, I mean, you know, when, when you have high, high, uh, rank players and stuff, you expect the Nexus first. The drone is going to scout this. Yes, he is. Not going to expect anything, though. Out of the ordinary, it's going to be a long macro game. I love those games. Yep, sees the natural, walks up the ramp into the main of uh, Bunker. Ooh, interesting, he didn't put the forge down. He put it up on top. Uh-huh, maybe he might be going for some sort of cannon play. Maybe. He put the forge oh. in the high ground. Hello. And a double expand by uh, the client. Yep, this game's looking pretty even at this point. I, if I were AG Bonkers right now, yep, he's gonna throw down some cannons to delay this third. Yeah, good idea, good idea. That is smart. I love this guy right now. Cannons are my favorite unit in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, oh. since when are cannons a unit? Look like he's canceling it. That's an odd decision. I don't. I wouldn't cancel if I were him. Cause he, he's not gonna have. Actually, yeah, he's not gonna have anything to defend it. Oh, he's building three Zerglings in mine. Let me open the production tab. There we go. Six Zerglings, by the way. Yep. There's another pylon that he's just delaying. He could have had a cannon up by now. Yeah. And have it, but... He's just uh, making the Zerg uh, run, run around in circles, is what he's doing, basically. Yeah. Um, Alright, so a uh, cannon 2-0. Double cannon. Yeah, then this, this is... Are, I, he shouldn't have cancelled it. He was in a great position. He could have completely walled off with pylons so the Zerglings couldn't get in. And then placed the cannons behind, like, the little wall he makes. It would have been more effective that way. Yeah, it looks like the Protoss is just fooling around. He did not... I don't think he ever meant to let those cannons finish. He just wanted to make the uh, Zerg react. And uh, he made six Zerglings, I guess that's reacting, but... Yep. He, he wanted like about nine or ten zerglings out of the uh, mm -hmm. certain player. Well, he didn't. I wonder get if AG Bonkers is going to stick on this two base player. He might go for a third. We don't know yet. I'd like for him to go for a third. Nexus, you mean? Three what Nexuses? That? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it definitely. I mean, it, once you see the Zerg do that double expand, then yeah, you just 
Save it for 400. Then go down and take your third mod as well. <clears throat> You're going to have enough probes to fend off uh, the, those six circlings, no problem. Yeah, easily. Robotics before any other gateways. Looks like it's going to be a kind of, a, I'm guessing, Colossus heavy, maybe? All right, so I'm going to put the camera on you. i got to take care of something, so go ahead. All right. Solo casting, like a boss. This is awkward. But AG Bonkers, he's going to throw down two more gateways. Four more, actually. Three more gateways. And it looks like he's going to be four-gate robotics facility, I'm guessing, with upgrades. So... He might be sticking on this two base play for a little bit. Or he might go into a more macro heavy game. We don't know yet. It's too early to tell. These queens are poking away at this little, these, this giant destructible debris. Hoping that their little spines will do something. Looks like this pylon is just going to get sniped. Finally. It's been there for a little while. Warp gate finishing up. Not much out of the ordinary right now. Did someone say there was a warp prism being made? There, no, there is not being a warp oh. prism being made. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he is getting an immortal, like you said, yep. which is uh, just about out, and he is making a warp prism behind that. All right. Yep. There so. he goes. He is supply blocked. Oh, he's supply blocked. Bonkers. He's starting three more gateways too. Oh, bonkers! You're going crazy here. You're going bonkers. <laughs> there we go. The pylons are getting finished. He's going to have some more supply. And then finally, Warp, Warp Prism can come out. Look at this force he has. Look at this. He has three Immortals already. He has four sentries, five sentries, and a soccer, yep. and that's about it. So that's a pretty decent looking force he has. He's going to have the Warp Prism to warp in more units once he gets over there. I'm thinking he's going to do a double Immortal drop in the main and then push with his main force in the front. Yeah, he could elevate her. He could elevate yep. her a little bit. Yep, for sure. Meanwhile, interesting. Uh, two base play. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the uh, Zerg is going Spire. Spire, Spire, Spire. So, not, um, not always a good thing against Protoss. <laughs> looks like he, looks like he scouted. He's gonna react with way more with a lot of spine crawlers. Yes, he has three now at his, at his natural being made, and he has two, three being made at his third base. Uh, these Immortals can take out those spine crawlers, no problem. Massive warps and orphans. Nice force field's gonna delay the Zerglings a lot. Nice. Nice force, force field on him, himself inside the base. He can kill these spine cards with those immortals in about what, a second each. Finished. More immortals. A lot of sentries coming out. Warp prism up. He's going to be able to warp in easily. No All reaction the from the Zerg whatsoever. He is just going to tear up this third base. Sacrifice the third base. Yep, so his two base play will actually have done something to equal up the economy because of how far behind he is. And looks, this is a decent push. Didn't yeah, this is really do that much at all. This is very, very strong. Does he have an observer yet? No. Yes, he does. Oh, he does. Okay. Yep, he has the observer here. He can take out all these creep tumors. Certainly, he's going to try to attack into this. I don't know how smart this was. Force feeling everywhere. Not good push because of how many sentries he's had and how effective his force fields will be. This might be an early GG. Oh, oh, those mutas just walked into the face of the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> they yep. did. They just walked right in there, and they're like, "Oh, you have stalkers. My bad." This Don't turn around. It's gonna go down. <laughs> Ag Bonkers, extremely aggressive this game. Gg. Gg. Ag Bonkers that with was two base. Extremely quick game. Mc. Extremely good 